Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. My guess, my friend, is that you've been doing this wrong to your candles all along. I've been doing it wrong for 20 some years of my life. Yes, I'm much older than 20 at this point, but look at my candles. Look at how nice they are burning. And then look at this one right here. This is delicious, by the way. Marine Coconut from Target. Can you smell that? Mm-hmm, makes you feel like you're on the beach. But look at, there's no wax along the side of this candle. So what's my secret? Oh, and with this little trick, this candle right here, I could burn it all day long for days and days on end. Saves me quite a bit of money because these babies can really add up. I have a ton of candles. Can you tell I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to all things candles? Look at this one right here. Never touched again, brand new from Target. Coastline Nectarine, apparently I have beach on the brain. But look at these wicks. Look at how ferocious those things are. They're like fingernails or weird tentacles sticking out of the candle. Now many people will tell you to go ahead and light your candles per usual and then get yourself a fancy pair of scissors. Uh, not this kind, but this is what we're gonna use today because this is my ride or die. With those fancy ones that got the long hook and then you can do this. I've never found a need for them, but they do look cool. I prefer to do this with dry candles. I'm gonna show you exactly how to cut your candle wicks so that they can burn longer and stronger and you have less soot on your ceiling and less wax around the rim, especially if you want to reuse the jar. So rule of thumb is about a quarter of an inch from the wax line right here. And truth be told, I just eyeball it. Now, you do not want to cut it too short because then the wick's not going to burn and the wax is going to melt and just blow out the wick. So this is what I do. I eyeball it. You can see about this is halfway down through the wick and that's going to be way too long still. So I'm just going to go just a little bit more like so. Bam. Look at that one. You can tell if you cut it too long, meaning you didn't cut it short enough, because the flame is gonna be really tall. You're gonna see more smoke from the candle. Let's go ahead and cut this one right here. Again, about a quarter of an inch. I just eyeball it. I don't get my tape measure out here. So between these two wicks, which one do you think is better? A or B? In my opinion, A is gonna be better for less soot, slower burn, and overall better candle longevity. Now, if you wanna learn a really cool trick when it comes to putting your candles out at the end of the day, click the video on screen now, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you, my friends, in the next one.